General Cornwallis was a shrewd veteran officer of the British Army. What he had done at Greenspring was lay an ambush for aggressive American fighters. He had concealed most of his army behind a ridgeline. General Cornwallis brought his entire force up, threw them into the fight, and overwhelmed the American army. General Wayne's plan of battle was very simple. He was to send his advanced force, consisting mostly of riflemen, some continental veterans, in against the outpost of the British soldiers. Once the battle had seemed won, he would send in his reserves and push the British into the river. General Cornwallis was the best the British had. He was an experienced, seasoned soldier, 
who had just spent the last several months in the Carolinas fighting it out with General Greene. Upon coming to Virginia, he wished to change the course of the war and bringing any American forces in the state to bear, confront them and defeat them in detail. With many veterans encamped near Jamestown Island, General Cornwallis felt he had the right men in the right place to bring those American troops into a pitched battle. And in this instant, with eight to 900 Continental veterans of Pennsylvania facing thousands of British regulars, General Wayne will not retreat, but order his men to charge. His men, with bayonets fixed, will move forward against three times their strength, attacking. 